More potential buyers are lining up with interest in taking over TikTok if the Senate moves forward with a ban on Chinese control of that company. The House overwhelmingly approved a bipartisan bill, but the bill faces a tougher challenge in the Senate. Fox's Connor Hansen has our story. A bill that would force TikTok to separate from its Chinese parent company or face a ban in the U.S. is one step closer to becoming law. Its backers say China can access data and influence its users, but TikTok CEO is lobbying senators in person. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and I intend to clarify it. How would you characterize your meeting with him? How would you characterize it? Uh, pr productive. Okay. Productive. Some have made careers through the app and are speaking out to help keep it around. We're speaking for a lot of content creators out yeah. there mm -hmm. who use TikTok to not only provide food for their families, you know, but a lot of people use it for their, you know, full support system. Mm -hmm. so. The bill sailed through the House with strong bipartisan support, but it could face tougher scrutiny in the Senate. We'll take a closer look at it, but I think they're serious national security risks. The legislation would also have to withstand a likely challenge in the courts. I have been and continue to be engaged with the Justice Department to make sure that, uh, uh, that the House bill threads the needle on being able to withstand um, you know, any kind of legal challenge. Meanwhile, former Trump Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has become the latest American to express interest in buying TikTok with a group of investors. I am, because this should be owned by U.S. U.S. businesses. There's no way that the Chinese would ever let a U.S. company own something like this in China. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has not committed to a time to hear the bill. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.